Right guys, so finally the pressure washer package is live on the website and I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of what you would have within this package. So the most important thing, of course, what you're gonna see is you've got the 1152 TST. Now the TST part stands for, of course, the integrated hose reel, which is really, really important because I found through various tests that the Kranzel hose as standard is one of the best in the world and there is no need to actually replace it. Whereas if you choose a lesser option for a couple hundred pounds, the, the hose tends to kink and stuff like that. Now, obviously the TST, I would love to see you guys receive it because when you first pick it up, I want to see the face because it is not the lightest of machines. It is very, very heavy, but it is a solid build pump. The construction of it is just in general world class. So the first thing that you'll notice is behind me here, I've got a box and it comes with its standard lances, which of course are going to get taken out of the box. So we're going to depack this pressure washer. We're going to take the old lances outside of the box. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the all important coupler. Now the coupler itself, I haven't talked this specific model down. It will come into the inlet of the Kranzel where as you can see, I'm screwing back into it now. And this is where you'll never have to do this sort of stuff again, because once this is in, once it's stepped and torqued, this all of a sudden transfers the pressure washer into a QD quick connect system into something like the SGS gun or gun of your choice. So once the quick disconnect coupler is in the Kranzo um, inlet, what you're gonna see is now you're gonna have a male 3 8 quarter uh, quick disconnect plug that will quite easily slot into here. So there's gonna be a plug and play system, as you can see, on, off. Now I really pushed for a total stainless steel assembly because Stainless steel has a less chance of corroding, marking. Stainless steel is usually designed for the high PSI applications, five, 6,000 plus if you're cleaning patios or you're cleaning something super industrial. In the car world, what's the maximum you're gonna technically go to? 1,500, 2,000 if you're lucky. So that is what it's designed for. However, when you start doing stainless steel to stainless steel connections, they go in a lot easier. The internals of here, especially where water's coming through, it won't corrode. And a system like this will last you for many years to come. So once your gun connects onto here, the beauty of this current setup is you can get into the wheel arches, you can get up close and personal to wheel cleaning or any type of spots that you may have on the car. Now, once you would do your wheel arches and you've got up close and personal to your paint, the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna step back and you're gonna do a generic fan with a lance. Now, this is also perfect if you're doing a roof of a taller vehicle or you just kind of want to, again, go underneath the car. You may even hit this with the arches. What you're gonna get is the stainless steel lance. This is made in Germany. It's got molded polyurethane plastic as well. So if you are running hot or warm water through here, this will actually give your hands a really nice break because again, it's not going through the metal, it's going through your hands. So again, this will come pre-torqued, everything good to go. So it's got a quarter inch nipple on the bottom and on the outlet of the lance, what you've got rather than quick disconnects like you get on the gun, you've got a static Nozzle, again, we chose this. The orifice of this is perfect for this pressure washer, so the flow rate is 100%. And this is a 40 degree fixed nozzle, so this is just perfect for rinsing, pre-washing, anything like that. And all you do, again, is, and now you've got yourself an extendable system. The lance itself is 500 mil. It's got a slight bend at the top, and this is where you wanna hit the roof. You can twist it upside down like this and you get underneath the arches or underneath the car, so it's totally perfect. Now, the beauty of this setup is once you've finished cleaning your wheels with the short gun, once you've done the generic pre-rinses and under the carriage sprays with the long lance, what you can do then, again, as you can see, it's a plug and play system. You will put this on the floor. You then can connect your MTMPF22 at will. Do the snow foam. You can again do the rinse. Now, also within the pack, what you will get is you will get the four pack of the MTM Velocity nozzles that go anywhere from 40 degree all the way to a jet of zero degree. So for example, if you are cleaning 
the concrete, the patios, or you want to go and hammer some window up top, the red nozzle will be your best friend. Again, that goes at zero degrees, so it's a complete straight jet, all the way back up to 40 degrees. So this will be perfect for if you do like using a shorter gun for your pre-rinses into the wheel arches, into the wheels. Now the main thing to get out of the way as well is now you've seen what comes with the pressure washer package. Again, this is a Kranzler. This is the best pressure washer when you can buy. On the side here, the adjuster valve, you can regulate your pressure as much as you want. And that so here you will see your true output in PSI into bar. Again, this is just for delivery purposes. Now the main thing with this, because this is a true metal pump, it has to deliver and work lying down. So you would take the pressure washer, as you can see around the back here, it's got some rubber cushions which are specifically designed for this. You would then put this down like this and you would unwind the reel and you would go and do your business. So also within the package, you're gonna get the handle which is here, which is not pre-attached. This is literally only for the delivery side of things. You don't want any extra hanging bits outside, but this takes you two seconds. You just put it in, screw it in and it's done. You've got another um, handle which goes onto the side and this is where, again, this is because it's in, in delivery mode. This is your power cable. So once you're done, you can wrap it around both handles and you can store it upright again somewhere into a corner. So you get everything from the outlet in. You get the best stainless steel fittings money can buy. You get the best pressure washer money can buy. You get really nice lances, really nice guns again. These things don't need any introduction. They already tried and tested. Everything gets done by us in house. So we talk everything, we water test everything. Um, these lances, these guns, all the connections, they all go through water tests. So when you get this pressure washer, you do not need to do anything apart from take a picture, of course. <laughs> um, but lie down, plug it in, turn the water on, and you're good to go with probably one of the best pressure wash packages in the world. So guys, there's gonna be a lot more videos on this. There's gonna be um, how to operate it properly. There's gonna be maintenance. And you're gonna now see shortly, I'm gonna take my pressure washer outside, which is exactly the same. And I'm gonna put through the paces, the guns, uh, the lances, and I'm just gonna show you its true performance. Now again, we're at the famous torch wall. This wall has seen more pressure and more chemicals than any wall in the UK. Again, this is my setup, exactly the same pressure washer, exactly the same couplings as you can see, lances, guns, etc. So the, the pressure washer is lying down. What I'd recommend is you would turn the water on first. You want to feed that pump with water, then turn the power on. Because if you do it the other way around, turn the power on, you can hear the pressure washer trying to suck water in. It's a dry pump at that point, so it's not going to be good for it. Water, then power. So the pressure washer is on, as you can see. So the SGS gun, on its own, Again, this has got no pressure tip at the minute. Now, if you want to, in between, as you've seen in plenty of my videos already, if you want to rinse your brushes out in between wheel cleaners, I, I usually like to take the pressure tip out. Um, and as you can see, there's more water flow there itself. So again, this is the lance. Now have a look at the fan. The fan is what I like the most. Now, like I said, each pressure washer requires um, a different, orifice, let's say, um, in here. Usually on your lower spec pressure washers, it doesn't really matter because you're not pumping that much pressure through it. But on the larger pressure washers, this is really important because this is pumping out so much pressure. If you put a wrong orifice in there, it's gonna go boom. So again, here we go. Just look at that fan. It's not too narrow. Again, it's wide enough, it's perfect. You can actually cover your wheel with this. So imagine, you're, you're stood fairly back from the car and you give this a generic fan. You then take this off, you put your snow foam cannon on. In fact, let's go and get the snow foam cannon. So again, you've rinsed the car, you want to put your MTM on. Look at this, boom. You foam it, you then take it off and you can go back into the rinse. Now, again, guys who buy this sort of pressure washer may want to cross platform it across other things that is not a problem now again the red tip as you can see this is a, a zero degree so this is truly jesus uh, 
this is truly a very powerful um, nozzle now I would definitely not recommend using this on your car but if you're going to be cleaning your floors like this not a problem patios windows moss again around the car park we've got a little bit of moss building to the curb so I just put one of these things on and it's a ridiculous fan if you were to put your hand out blow your hand off and this is how easy this system is I'm super excited for you guys to now have it. As you all know, this has been a huge development for me through trial and error. It's been unbelievable. Um, all the wrong parts that I've bought, could have probably bought 50 pressure washers by now. But you guys have got the best system in the world. You've got the best gun, best lances, best cannons. Everything's going. So all the description of what is included in the pressure washer package is live. It's everything bar the snow foam cannon. So it's pretty much a plug and play system. If you're a valet, if you're a home user, you come in, plug it in, you're good to go. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this. As you can see, I am super happy for you to now get your hands on something that I know is truly amazing. And um, let me know your feedback on when you buy the pressure washer and I hope you all enjoy it. Cheers guys.